stenographer-physician communication must be reciprocal. As much as the stenographer has the responsibility to properly communicate their findings, physicians have the responsibility to properly communicate their expectations regarding the examination. Let's see what the experienced physicians have to say regarding their expectations. I've been really fortunate to work with extremely skilled and extremely capable technologists who have been very well trained, but also kind of get to know my practice style and know really how I approach patients, how I like to do the workup, how we can communicate with each other so that we both know what the next steps will be. Um, so for me, um, that's really the most important thing. I've worked in the same lab for 30 years and sort of over that time we've established um, protocols about what I want to see um, and uh, how I want it to, to be presented. Um, that being said, virtually every scan I repeat in clinic um, myself, I do a more uh, focused exam based upon um, what the technologist tells me. If, it, if the deep system is normal and we're just talking about axial saphenous varices, I'll just scan myself the, the saphenous vein and confirm that. If it's a, a, a pelvic or abdominal problem, I'll try to look in the pelvis myself and see, make sure I can see varices as well as if there's a compression of either the renal vein or the common iliac vein. So mostly what I'm interested in is the technologist identifying any sources of pathology that then I can evaluate myself with ultrasound in clinic. Excellent advice. As you see, each physician has varying expectations depending upon the patient and the type of examination being performed. For this reason, the expectation must be communicated to the sonographer for every patient on an individual case basis. Overall, the sonographer can ensure that both the expectation of the ultrasound examination and the findings of the ultrasound examination are communicated appropriately by five major rules. Mm -hmm.